How is everyone doing? Man, it's about 47 degrees in right here. Gentlemen, keep So, man, how are you gentlemen doing on today? Give yourself a hand. Give yourself a hand. Gentlemen, it's a great day. It's a great day. 1050 on May the 10th, man. Appreciate everybody. If you guys watching on the, the playback, I appreciate everybody who's uh, tuning in, listening to what I have to say. You know, gentlemen, I had to uh, just go on out for a little, a little walk. I'm on a little walk. You know, boy, I walk about a good damn near seven miles every single day, man, trying to be healthy. But gentlemen, this is what came to my mind, right? This is what came to my mind. Got to go back to your girl. What's in it? Ebony Williams and uh, Deanna Van Sant. Gentlemen, check this out, man. This is crazy. Love that. Gentlemen, this is crazy, right? I'm just thinking about all this stuff, right? Because we've been accused of not doing a lot of things in the community, right? We've been, we've been accused of basically not doing anything. But I find it funny that Everything that we've been accused of, we have bumped, right? You know, oh, you, you know, with the numbers, the thing with the father, you know, having all these kids, we, we debunked that. You know, father's not spending time with the children, you know, we debunked that number. But, gentlemen, here's another thing, right? So here, here's another thing about the debunk, right? All this, we not build it, right? Oh, you, oh, you. You know, you African-American, man, you ain't building. But then again, I'm thinking about it. I'm like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Gentlemen, how is it that we're not building anything? You can ride by any construction site and you can see a whole bunch of us. My bad. You can see a whole bunch of us at that construction site. So, gentlemen, how in God's name are we not building? You can go by any construction site anywhere in the United States and you're going to see brothers out there building. So, gentlemen, once again, how are we not building? How are we not building? I, I just want to know. We're being, we, we, we've been accused for all this time of not building anything. But gentlemen, who who was out there paving the roads? Plus, don't get me wrong, it's every yeah, all these other men are doing it too. But gentlemen, aren't you out there paving the roads? Aren't we out there uh paving sidewalks? I mean, hell, is I mean, every time I go by a construction site and there's a new building being put up, gentlemen, aren't you out there building the building? Aren't you out there constructing the building? Come on, gentlemen. I just, I just need to hear that. Aren't you out there constructing the building? Yes, gentlemen. You are out there constructing the building. So how are we not building anything? We're not taking... Gentlemen, we, if we talk about acts of service, think about it, right? Because it goes back to the... um. It goes back to the, the Mr. Bus, the bus driver. Think, think about it, gentlemen. We are the most serving men on planet Earth, gentlemen. Do you, do you know that? Do you know that the so-called middle class man is the most serving man on the planet Earth, gentlemen? Do, do, do you know that? Oh, you guys, you know, we, we're not doing nothing for the community. Gentlemen, you know how... The, the, okay, let's take it back to the bus driver. Gentlemen, do you know how many, do you know how many thousands of people 
that one bus driver picks up every single week? One gentleman, one bus driver picks up thousands of people every single hell. It might be every single day. Thousands of people that one bus driver picks up every single day. Gentlemen, how are you not serving the community? Gentlemen, I myself did Uber and Lyft for five years. I've I've done thousands. I've done damn near 8,000 rides by myself, gentlemen. That's rides. That's not including people. Gentlemen, I have served thousands of people by myself. You gentlemen are 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 the are the meat and the potatoes of humanity. So how is that you gentlemen? How is that we're sitting here taking these tongue lashes from these females? But gentlemen, you are the epitome acts of service for humans, period. Come on, gentlemen. How many I mean the mailman, gentlemen, I've I've done postal service. You gentlemen out here, our postal service, you know how many hundreds and maybe even thousands of people you served every every single week, gentlemen? The policeman is in the community serving and protecting the people, gentlemen. How are we, how are we not protecting anybody? Come on, gentlemen, think about it. How are we not protecting anybody when you got all these police officers that look just like me and you that's protecting everybody? Come on, gentlemen. Come on, gentlemen. What, what, are, what, what are we talking about right now? What are we talking about right now, gentlemen? Uh, gentlemen, what are we talking about right now? We're not protecting anybody, but when you ride around, you see police officers that look just like me protecting everybody, gentlemen. How are we not protecting people? How are we not protecting these, these one group of people? Oh, you, you, you men don't protect us. But when you go call somebody, especially if, if, if you're in any type of inner city, the first person that's going to show up to your house is going to look just like you. Uh-oh. But once again, gentlemen, we're not protecting. We're not building. We don't serve the community. Gentlemen, that's all a bunch of foolishness. I wish I can, I want to curse so bad. You fellas out here, I mean, gentlemen, you blue collar men are the meat and the potatoes of mankind. If it wasn't for the blue collar middle class men, gentlemen, society falls apart. So, gentlemen, well, how is it that we're sitting here listening to women tell us we're not doing anything, but when we're doing everything? Somehow, the bus driver is not cutting it. That bus driver is serving thousands of people every single day. He's putting his life on the line every stop he goes to. Every stop that that bus driver goes to could be his last. You don't know who's going to, you don't know what people are carrying. You got deranged people every single day. Every time that bus driver stops, he that, that could be his last stop. But he's risking his life to pick up all these different people that he doesn't know to bring them to the destination. But somehow, gentlemen, you, you, you're not working hard enough. <laughs> Tell me, you're not working hard enough. One bus driver is responsible for thousands of lives. Every single day. But somehow that's mediocrity. See, gentlemen, this is this is the problem. See, the thing is, I, I told you, gentlemen, what, what this whole thing was about. I told you that these women desire Brad. I'll say that again. 
These women desire bread. And this is why every time you gentlemen do something, you're always getting compared to the woman that she wants. You gentlemen are always getting compared to the, not the one, that's the woman, my bad. She's always comparing you to the man that, that's a woman, the man that she wants. My bad. It's a woman, that's the woman or what? My bad, gentlemen. She's always comparing you to the man that she wants. It doesn't matter what you do, gentlemen. These women, I told you this, gentlemen, years ago, these women don't want you. They want Bradley. And every time, because I told you, Bradley doesn't want Keisha. But Rashad is there. Rashad has his has his has his arms open wide. Come on, Keisha. But since Keisha can't get Bradley, she's gonna abuse Rashad. She's going to abuse Rashad because she wants Bradley. This is why you men is ev everything you men do is just not good enough. Do you gentlemen not understand what's going on right now? Do you gentlemen, do you not understand what's going on right now? See, I can't point the finger at her, gentlemen. We hard-headed. We are hard-headed. Gentlemen, we are hard-headed. We really are. We really are. I told you, John, these women have said it to your face who she wants, and her actions have shown who they want. But once again, gentlemen, we not getting it. Just have to go on that walk today. I'm like, hold up. The bus driver services over thousands of people every single day, and maybe even hundreds of thousands every single week. So how is being a bus driver mediocre? Without the bus driver going on his route, you know how many how many thousands of people are not getting to work? That that police officer is not policing. Do you know how many hundreds of thousand people that, that can get hurt? Without the firefighter, without the civil engineer, without the, the, the UPS guy, without the FedEx guy? The plumber, electrician, gentlemen, you know, if you, if you, if you middle class gentlemen just don't show up to work, gentlemen, everything falls into pieces. <laughs> Your whole society falls into pieces, gentlemen. Gentlemen, you got to understand your worth. You got to understand your worth. I told me, I think I, t uh, I talked about the value system, gentlemen. I told you the value is always, listen, you, know, you determine your worth, but somebody else determines your value. So gentlemen, if these women keep saying that you're not valuable to her, gentlemen, when are you going to wake up and move your ass along? Because it's not her. I'm not, I can't even point the finger at these women no more. It's on you, gentlemen. You're hard-headed. You are hard-headed. Me too. Well, not anymore, but... Gentlemen, we... we yeah, yeah, yeah. I put me in there. Gentlemen, we hard-headed, man. These women have come out their mouth and said... They're not... They don't value you, gentlemen. So I can't point the finger at Keisha no more. It's on you, Roderick. Keisha already says she don't want you. It doesn't matter what you do, how efficient and how good you do it, gentlemen. It's just not good enough. But you gentlemen, trying to, you keep trying to win the affection of these women who don't want you. And there's nothing wrong with that, gentlemen. 
because there's plenty of other women that do. But you gentlemen, you're hard-headed. I can't even point the finger at the woman no more, gentlemen. You are hard-headed. How many times you need to keep ramming your head in the wall to get the message? You're hard-headed, gentlemen. You're absolutely hard-headed. Every single time, gentlemen. Every single time. Oh, this! Come on, gentlemen. The bus driver, gentlemen. The mailman, the policeman. Oh, because oh, you make a little fifty, sixty something thousand dollars. Well, let me not take my fifty, sixty thousand dollar behind to your house when you're getting robbed. Let's let let let's let's see how much uh 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 fifty uh how worthless that fifty, sixty thousand dollars is when I'm not coming to your house and somebody's trying to get at you. Uh, fifty, sixty thousand dollars. See, see, this is what I'm saying, gentlemen. When are you gonna learn? When are you going to put worth on yourself? When are you gonna discover your worth? When are you going to discover your worth? Because it seems to me, a lot of you brothers, your worth comes through this female, and that female just gave you your evaluation on what she feels about you. Basically, they just said they don't need you. They've been saying this for decades, gentlemen. They gave you your evaluation decades ago. What are you waiting on? You had your evaluation already. You got your evaluation. You got your report card. In her eyes, you're a failure. Mm. And these women, I'm going to say it again, these women in the community gave you your evaluation, gentlemen, and you already failed. Yeah, gentlemen, that's, that's, gentlemen, you already failed in her eyes. And these women in the community, they know it, gentlemen, you, you are a failure in their eyes. I'm not saying you're a failure in life, but gentlemen, these women gave you the evaluation. And to her, you're just a failure. It doesn't matter what you do and how you do it. You're just a failure. In her eyes. And it's everybody else because you got so many women around you. Looking for you, calling for you, but uh, Keisha said I was a failure. <laughs> Keisha said she doesn't like me. Yeah, gentlemen, you got your, you had your evaluation year decades ago. That evaluation to these women has not changed. They're just a failure. It doesn't matter how, what you do and how you do it. It doesn't matter if you are, it doesn't matter, gentlemen. They don't like you. Once again, who else is talking about the bus driver being some mediocre job? Oh, it's, it's, it's mediocre. Gentlemen, thousands of people being served every single day. It's not mediocrity. Thousands of hundreds of thousands of people being served every single day. It's not mediocre. No, the UPS guy, it's not mediocrity. The FedEx guy, it's not mediocrity. You gentlemen are serving hundreds and maybe thousands of people. You are the, the true definition of acts of service. People talk about love languages. Oh, love languages, right? The love, when one of the love languages is what act of service. Gentlemen, you are the definition of love. Gentlemen, I'll say it again. You are the true definition of love. Right? Because the love language is acts of service. Gentlemen, you blue collar men are servicing not only your community, but all of humankind. 
all of mankind, you're servicing. Gentlemen, you are the definition of love. Somehow you gentlemen throw all that stuff away and you keep listening to Keisha. You throw all that stuff away. And just and just whatever whatever Keisha got to say, you gentlemen just bottle up and be like, Oh, you right, Keisha. Niggas ain't shit. Niggas ain't shit, Keisha. Even though I serve thousands of people every single day. I get compliments and thank yous every single day, but you said I wasn't shit, Keisha, so I'm not shit, Keisha. And this is how everybody looks at you. Like Rashad, are you serious right now, bro? Do you do you not see what you what the impact that you are having? Do you not do you, do you not see the impact that you are having every single day? Do you not see that? That old lady got to her job because, hell, when I was out there delivering that mail, I told you, Tommy, you, all that stuff, I was walking seven miles a day on Route 1247 back in Alexandria, Virginia. That was in Coney Post Office, whatever, it was in Alexandria, Virginia. You know how many, you know how many thank yous I got, gentlemen? I had somebody's check. Somebody was about to get their lights cut off, gentlemen. I had, I gave, I gave that letter. Uh, I gave that letter, uh, the that letter. I gave the uh, check to that lady or to that man just in the nick of time before their lights got shut off. But somehow that's just mediocre, gentlemen. I'm gonna say it again. You're hard headed. I don't. I don't look at. I don't look at the community women no more, gentlemen. You are hard headed. They gave you your evaluation years ago. I don't understand why you gentlemen keep coming back trying to get reevaluated, like she, like you're about to get a higher grade. No, gentlemen. These women desire somebody else, not you. Get it through your head. It is what it is. It is, it is what it ain't. It, they gave they they gave you your evaluation, gentlemen. They gave your father the same evaluation. They gave your granddaddy the same evaluation, your great-granddaddy, your great-great-granddaddy. Every last one of us got an F. We failed. We've been failed. And it's okay. Because a failure in her eyes could be an A-plus in some other woman's eyes. Uh Uh-oh. But once again, gentlemen, you're hard. You're hard headed. I can say you, we, we are hard headed. You got the same, your, your daddy got the same evaluation, the same failure evaluation, excuse me, the same e- failure evaluation. Your grandfather got the same evaluation. Your great grandfather got the same evaluation. All them grades before you got the, all, all of us got F's in her evaluation. And somehow we still having this conversation. We we still trying to get reevaluated. Okay, well, okay. If I get this degree, what's my grade now? Okay, if okay, okay. If I get the certification, what do, what do I get? Okay, if if I if I make these six figures, like you keep saying, will my grade get higher? The joke is on you, gentlemen. The joke is on you. Because we are hard headed. We've gotten the same evaluation for decades and we still haven't learned yet. What's I mean what what does it need to take? Told you, 1967, Cushing versus Virginia. They told your granddaddy what his what his what his evaluation was. <laughs> Cushing versus Virginia. They they told your granddaddy and your great granddaddy what what they uh what the grade 
what his grade was on his evaluation. They told you. At least some years ago, even prior before that, way before that, same evaluation, same grade, same everything. But okay, well, if I if, if I act a little bit more thuggish, can you can can I get a higher grade? No. You look like a clown, dog. Don't say we. I can say you. We look like a clown. Out here looking stupid. Others out here getting degrees and all types of stuff, trying to get, think you about to get a high, you about, uh, higher, higher grade on your evaluation with Keisha. And she's still going to give you an F. Because you gentlemen haven't discovered your worth. We out here doing all this work. I'm like, hold up, we don't build, we don't do this, we don't do that. I'm like, hold up. Every time I ride by a construction site, I see brothers out there building. Like, what are we talking about? Brothers ain't building. We build all the time. We pay the roads, pay the sidewalks, building houses. Every job you can think of, there's some there's there's some type of brother doing that job. But somehow somehow we 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 not doing nothing, gentlemen. Tell me, hard headed. You are hard headed. You're hard headed. We are hard headed. I'm sorry. We. Not you. We. We are hard headed. We are absolutely hard headed. Gentlemen, I went to Iraq in 04. Serve the country, not just the community, the whole entire damn country I served, gentlemen. But somehow, I'm not making a half a mil. That means that my military, excuse me, that my military service goes down the drain. <laughs> Serve my country seven years. Actually, medical, actually medically dis, uh, what was it? Actually, medically retired from the military. Went to Iraq, went to Kuwait three times, and all these different things for for everybody here in the United States, gentlemen. And you're going to tell me, and this female is going to sit there and tell me what I've did is not good enough? Because you're comparing me, once again, to Bradley. Because Bradley is who these women really want. She wants Bradley, not Rashad. She can't get Brad, so she, then, no, she can't get Brad. She doubles back to Pookie. Then when she, when she get all bust down and ran through the Pookie, then she comes to you, Rashad. Do you, do you not understand how this goes? You gentlemen are standing here with open arms. Come on, tumble. come on, Keisha. Come on, let's go. It's okay. I forgive you. Come on, gentlemen. We, we look stupid out here, man. We look absolutely stupid out here, gentlemen. The joke is on you. The same evaluation that your daddy got is the same one you're getting now. The same one your grandfather got is the same one your daddy got is the same one you got. Every last, all these different generations all got F's in these women's eyes. We've all failed in these women's eyes, gentlemen. It's no point to keep going back and keep getting reevaluated. It is what it is. These women have, have, have demonstrated in so many different ways. They said in so many different ways, gentlemen, what are you not, what's not clicking? Seriously, what, what is not clicking? If your daddy got the F, your granddaddy got the F, your great granddaddy got the F. And here we are in 2023, we still talking, we still coming to Keisha to talk some. Well, what's, what's the, okay, Keisha, how, how valuable, how, how valuable am I in your eyes? F. Failure. But Keisha, I got all these degrees, all these certifications. I fought in Iraq, and I did this, and I did that. Does the next, uh, uh, don't, don't I get a higher grade than that? No. But Keisha. 
And this is why everybody is laughing. All of us gentlemen in the so-called community. Everybody laughing. He's sitting there laughing at us. Like, look at these jokers. You gentlemen, this, this female has given you an F for how many decades? And you gentlemen still sitting up here trying to get reevaluated by Keisha? Yeah, yeah. Come on, fellas, what, what, what are we doing out here in these streets, bro? Brothers, what are we doing out here in these streets? What up, well, here, well, here, here, well, some of you gentlemen have woken up, gotten your passports and, you know, practicing the SYSB and all that good stuff. Some of you gentlemen have woken up, but a lot of you gentlemen still waiting around for Keisha. Keisha, I'm still waiting for you, girl. I'm still waiting for you. That female, every time she sees you, she give you an F, an F, an F, an F, an F. My Keisha, look, look at the, look, Keisha, look at the car that I bought. Can I, can I get a higher grade? F. <laughs> okay, but Keisha, I bought me a big house in the suburbs. Dude, can I get a higher grade now? F. You gentlemen, we, no, we, we gentlemen, we hard-headed, bro. We hard-headed. I keep telling you, man, these women gave you the benediction a long time ago. I don't understand why you gentlemen still sitting around having these same talking points. Come on, man. Disrespectful for that female to sit there, some Ebony Williams, sit there and talk about some, some bus driver's mediocre. Talk to them thousands of people, them them uh, hundreds of thousands of people on his on his route, and see and see they uh if they don't preach appreciate Roger. You sitting up because you sitting up in some courtroom. That man, man, as many people as he serves, he, listen. That man can pick up. You sitting there doing these, you know. Don't get me wrong. Man. Okay, yeah, you you getting paid to 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 fight somebody's trial. I get it. That's cool. Hell, that man has that man has seen and serviced more people than you've done in probably in the last six months. Facts. But once again, gentlemen, she's high and mighty because she's next to the to Bradley, who she wants. She, she's sitting up. She's sitting up on her high horse because she's next to Bradley, who she wants. She wants Brad. She wants Brad. She doesn't want Roger, the bus driver. This man is 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 responsible for all these thousands of people that's jumped on and off his bus. People that's dipping and dodging in traffic. People just. People running out in front of him, children running out in front of him, but he he nearly missed the the baby. And he got people on the back that he's had to, uh, excuse me, that he's responsible for. He's driving, people trying to cut him off, trying to trying to turn right. He he nearly misses misses them, about to cause that car to overturn and maybe be flung in on the sidewalk somewhere, hurting more people. Roger's doing this every single day. Every second of the day, Roger's life and other people's lives are at stake. But gentlemen, somehow, uh, that's just mediocre. Yeah, yeah. Gentlemen, I'm going to say it again. We, we, me too, we are hard-headed. We are very hard-headed. You got men out here risking their lives. Hell, gentlemen, when I, I risk my life in in in, in Iraq. Did the so-called these women in the community roll out the red carpet for me? No. Do you think I'm gonna keep going back to Keisha and ask asking for some evaluation? Hell no. I'm gonna keep asking these women in the community, okay, can you please reevaluate me? Okay, well, here, I, I got this uniform. I got all these medals. 
I got a handshake from the crutch from the four star general and blah, 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 blah. You think he should give a damn about none of that? No. Cause why? Cause she don't want me. And I get it. Keisha don't want me. She, Keisha don't want me. She wants Brad. I'm not mad, gentlemen. I just get my ass on, man. It's time to get on, gentlemen. You know how many thank yous I've gotten for other people for serving the country? How many thank yous, how many thank yous you think I've gotten from the so-called these women in the community? Exactly. All types of people telling me thank you for my military service. And you think Keisha and them is saying thank you to me because of my military service? Nope. But once again, I'm not mad. I can't get mad. I can't get mad. If somebody doesn't value me, I can't get mad because you don't value me. This is what you see. Guess what? I'm not going to be your punching bag, though. That's See, that's what's not going to happen, gentlemen. See, somebody doesn't value you, gentlemen, you move along. You move on to something else and something better, whatever you choose. That's why I keep saying, gentlemen, hashtag choose different. All the stuff that I've done for this country, all the stuff I've, I've done. I mean, all, I mean, gentlemen, I've done so many different things, so many different jobs, uh, so many acts of service. Right? The love language, gentlemen, I've displayed love so many different times, and you have too. And gentlemen, that's just not good enough. Once again, gentlemen, I point the finger at you. You're hard-headed. I'm hard-headed too. Not anymore, but yeah, I, gentlemen, I was hard-headed. Hard-headed. Didn't matter what I did. Doesn't matter what you do. Doesn't matter how many people you serve. Doesn't matter if you do this. Doesn't matter if you build a damn skyscraper that goes to the stratosphere, gentlemen. It's just not good enough. And and it's okay, gentlemen. If the community, if these women in the community have given you an F evaluation, gentlemen, take your F and go on somewhere else. It's not that hard. My bad. Take the F. Matter of fact, you ain't got to take it. She gave you the F. No, no, no. I don't even want that paper. No, no, no. You, you can throw that away. I don't, I don't care about the F. I don't care about the F you talking about. What does that mean? Hell, Maria don't give me no F. Shoot, Maria, Maria give me the, the damn A++ around this cut. Becky don't give me no F. Zane Kwa don't give me no F. Olga from Germany don't give me no F. Resky from Africa, don't give me no F. But you're gonna keep listening to Keisha around the corner. Who gonna keep giving you uh F on your uh F on you your evaluation? Come on, gentlemen. That's 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 on us, gentlemen. I can't we can't keep pointing the finger. Sooner or later, gentlemen, we gotta snap out the hypnosis. Snap out the sorcery and move along. I'm not gonna put my value to people that don't that don't want me. Female says she don't want me, gentlemen. I get it. I'm moving along. So do you. Oh, twelve. I don't want. Okay. Well, keep sitting there. Keep sitting there. Keep doing all this stuff. I know all you guys. I know guys that going to college. I know guys that's pledged this and done this and done that and all the approvals of Keisha and Keisha has still given you a fat f. Keisha, I pledged this and I got this degree. And matter of fact, I got another degree. I got two or three degrees. Can I please get a higher, higher evaluation? F. Well, I I would give you, well, I would give you a higher this, but you know, I don't like the way you walk. You kind of corny and you do this and you listen to poetry and you drink wine and blah, blah, blah. Like, damn, gentlemen, you just. Damn, John, are we just are we just some punching bag, bro? Seriously. Brother, are we just some type of punching bag? What in God's name are we doing? What are we doing? 
These people got the audacity to talk about some bus driver is mediocre. You being a lawyer is 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 high class, but Roger out here servicing over thousands of people every single day is a mediocre job. Tell me, come on, tell me. Think. Use your head, please. Use your head, gentlemen. The bus driver services over thousands of people every single week. Maybe even hundreds of thousands of people every single week. The Uber and Lyft driver is probably serving, servicing over hundreds of drivers. I mean, hundreds of passengers every single week. Because I know I would. Making sure people get to point A to point Z to point whatever you got to go. Gentlemen, you out here doing the, doing the damn thing. Police officers and firefighters and electricians and plumbers and civil engineers and the construction workers. The people pave the roads and your garbage man and your, and your recycle man. People that drive the truck to sweep the streets so your streets don't look crappy every single day. Like, gentlemen, what are we talking about? All these jobs. Oh, well, if you don't own the bus, then you. Oh, we starting to piss me off. You're only valuable if you own the freaking bus. Oh, yeah, he's valuable. Well, when he owns the bus, oh, that's, that's when he's valuable. Gentlemen, are we? What in God's name are Man, God help me. So all that work you do for everybody that's around you, like you play an important role in everybody's lives around you in the job that you're doing, doesn't matter what you're doing, you pro you're providing some type of service to somebody in somebody's society, in somebody's community, but somehow that ain't good enough. Tell me, are we... Are we dumb or are we stupid? Are we dumb or are we stupid? The impact that every last one of us in the so-called middle class, that whatever job that we're doing is impactful to everybody. But somehow that ain't good enough because we don't own the, the, the bus and we don't own the, the delivery truck and we don't own that security service. I mean, come on, gentlemen, what are we talking about? UPS guy delivering your package because you ordered something that you need. Oh, I'm trying to put on this dress tonight. So you're going to tell me the UPS man is, is, is a mediocre job, but you're waiting on it. Amazon package or you waiting on a package from God knows who let, let that package not show up at your door because you know it's, you know what the UPS man said F it I quit Keisha said, Keisha said my job wasn't my job was mediocre so you know what I just quit and let Keisha take her ass down to, to the to the um, to the hub to the UPS hub and pick up her own damn dress and go sort through all them packages and pick up your own damn dress Come on, gentlemen. What? Come on. What are we doing out here, gentlemen? We look crazy. We look absolutely crazy. The impact that you gentlemen have every single day, and, and what? I mean, gentlemen, I'm pretty sure you putting a smile on somebody's face every time you come and you do your job. I don't care if you the janitor, bro. What are we talking about? The janitor? Oh, bro. I'm a lawyer and you're the janitor. Man, ooh, we don't want to say the B word. Boy, I want to curse so bad. Gentlemen, keep it. Gentlemen, do you know how much impact the janitor has? So let the janitor quit. And let them lawyers and all them white collar people go clean their own bath. And they go clean their own damn bathroom and throw out their own damn trash. You gonna look down on the janitor, but you but you high and mighty because you're you're sitting next to Bradley. Get the fuck out of here. Are you crazy? Oh my bad. You gonna look you gonna look you gonna look down upon the the the, the dude at Chipotle. 
You're going to look down at the dude at Starbucks. Oh, my God. I work at Starbucks. Uh, you're mediocre. Get the fuck out of here. Let that dude at Starbucks quit his job and you can't get your mocha latte. Man, shut the hell up. Are you crazy? The dude at Chipotle. Oh, he's nothing. You go to Walmart, the, br the brother that's stacking the shelves. Oh, that's nothing. The dude that work at Target. Oh, oh, you work at you. You're just a shelf st uh, stacker. Oh, that's you're mediocre. What, tell me, what are we? You gentlemen not see the value in yourselves because that's what it comes down to. Do you gentlemen not see the value in yourselves? You do things on a day-to-day -day basis that impact people's lives forever and ever, gentlemen. What you did on today is going to impact somebody's tomorrow. What are we talking about? Because you won't listen to some females. <sighs> Man. I used to do this all the time, gentlemen. I used to do all that fake stuff I was doing, man. When I got out the military, man. Got to D.C. and all this, I was out here faking and all this stuff and trying to buy any luxury car. I do go into the clubs and buying up VIP sections because I'm out here trying to press some, press some damn Keisha, gentlemen. I mean, I was in the same boat you was in, bro. bro I was, I was, oh, you know, you know, like, listen, man, I, I, hell, me going, me living in Japan for six years, I've, a lot of people have never done that. A lot of people have never left their state or their county. I've been I've been in all twenty four different time zones. Like what what are we talking about right now? Serving my serving the country. Got the got the got the flag. But somehow, somehow I, I'm not I'm not on I'm not a celebrity. Somehow I'm not a I don't have millions of dollars. Yeah, okay, that's that's great. Uh, but you, you but you but you standing next to Brad that I want, uh, you're still nothing. Come on, gentlemen. I mean, I, listen, I was in the same boat you're in, but now I don't give I don't give a damn no more. <coughs> Talk with some bus driver, man. Go sit your ass down somewhere. And the same in the same chick talking about the bus driver, I guarantee you, your ass take the bus. Say I'm lying. Yo ass sit up there and take the damn bus. What do you mean? What are you talking about? You took the bus in this morning. But you some type of you you some type of some type of super chick? What are you talking about? The subway driver. What are you talking about? All you so-called white collar women, you still gotta take the bus and the subway. What are we talking about? Like a subway driver, that's mediocre. Well, if he owns the subway, then he, then he, then he might get a, a extra point in my book. Get the fuck out of here! Because you don't own the bus, you don't own the subway. Hell, you know what I mean? Truck drivers, all types of logistics, all types of stuff that's moving all throughout the night. So, being a truck driver, that's mediocre too. Like, what are we? Tell me, what are, oh my goodness, bro. What are we talking about right now? This sounds dumb as hell. And this is why she got jumped on so bad. Hell, not even the city bus. Come on, jump the school. Tell me, oh. tell me the school bus driver, gentlemen. How are these women talking smack about the school bus driver? Tell me, I've dealt with it last year with my with my children when these buses were going on strike. Gentlemen, believe me, I am never in my life going to ever say the school bus driver is just mediocre. I've dealt with it last year in a couple of years. These bus these these uh bus drivers have gone on strike. Believe me, that's a huge inconvenience. Are you serious right now? 
let these bus drivers go go on strike indefinitely. And let's see how mediocre that school bus driver is when they're not showing up at all. What are we talking about? Come on, gentlemen. Know your worth, gentlemen. Know your damn worth. Sounds crazy. Men out here making impacting hundreds and thousands of people's lives every single time. You you step out, you step outside, but somehow that's not good enough because you don't own the company. Some dumb as hell. That same janitor out there cleaning your office, making an impact so you people could come in and have a clean office and fresh office for tomorrow. Come on, man. Like, what are we talking about? So the janitor don't show up. The janitor don't don't take out your garbage. And your garbage still sitting there from, from two or three days ago. You don't think that's not going to impact your, uh, your performance at your job? Smart lady. But you high and mighty because, because you, got some, you got some two, three degrees. Get that stuff out of here, bro. Huh? So the security guard that's, that's down at the front desk of your, of your, of your damn building, he's, that's mediocre too? He's, a, he's, he's your first line of defense. If somebody were to come into your damn building and get to shooting people, he's the first line of defense. But you, you, but that, but uh, La, but Lamar sitting at the front desk, that's mediocre because, because what? Lamar sitting at the front desk. I mean, he's certified to carry a weapon, so he has his weapon on you. I mean, you got to go through metal detectors to get to to. I mean, hell, some of these federal, some of these federal court buildings, you got to go through all types of metal detectors and stuff like that. These these men, because you see men that look just like me down there protecting your ass. So you can go to your office comfortably. But those men, those police officers that's in the building, oh, that's just mediocre. Gentlemen, I'm going to say it again, man. We hard-headed, bro. We are, gentlemen, we are hard-headed. And I'm glad that female's getting chastised. That's That sounds crazy. I'm doing all this to get the approval of somebody who's already given you an F in your evaluation decades ago. And you gentlemen still thinking if I do a little bit more that maybe she is going to change her mind. Gentlemen, you son, you look stupid. <laughs> gentlemen, we out here looking dumb thinking we about to upgrade that F to maybe a D. We tell you, gentlemen, you're always going to be a failure in these females in the community's eyes because they desire Bradley. They desire somebody else. It doesn't matter if you get a Bentley, bro. Come on, gentlemen. Understand your worth, man. Understand your worth. What are we doing right now? This sounds crazy. The things that we do to get an approval of a female who don't even want us. You tell me complain all the time, well, Brad, see, Brad can be broken, this, that, and the third, but Jamal has to has to be damn near, has to be a, 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 a Zeus. Okay, well, gentlemen, that should, that should show you who these women want, who, who these women desire. That should show you who these women want. You can't get mad at her because she wants be busted down Brad. Doesn't matter Brad busted down. She just wants Brad. What 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 what's what's not clicking? What are you gentlemen not understanding? She wants Brad, not Jamal. Jamal needs to go ahead and get him a Maria. Jamal needs to go ahead and get him a Becky or Su Luann or something. I mean, come on, Jamal. All these women around you, you still worried about some Keisha? Like, what are you doing, bro? What, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? That's what I'm saying, gentlemen. I, I, can't, I can't point the finger at the female in the community no more. They have given you the benediction. They've given you the benediction decades ago. They've given you the L. They told you to hold it. 
you should I wouldn't even hold that L. No, you just you can stand there and keep holding that L while I keep moving forward. You are you are holding it doesn't matter what you do, you're still holding the L. But then you go ahead and get you a Becky. Now you holding up. Now you're a sell. Come on, John. Like what the? You're a sellout. But you gave me an L. You gave me an F in my evaluation. So I went somewhere else where somebody value valued me, uh, uh, put great value on me. Oh, John, like the uh, uh, what is that? Like the Deion Sanders situation. I told you, gentlemen, Jackson State's situation. Jackson State. Gave 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 Deion Sanders the the, the uh, F evaluation. Everything that Deion Sanders did for uh, Jackson State, J Jackson State gave him the F. They don't care. They don't care if you're prime time. They don't care. We're not gonna pay you whatever whatever uh, uh, these other colleges are are gonna give you. We're not gonna pay you that type of money. Because why? They gave him an evaluation of an F. They gave they they failed him. This is why he was getting the, the treatment he was getting, getting robbed and this, that, and getting robbed at gunpoint. And I mean, come on, gentlemen, that's the, 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 the that university already gave Dion his his evaluation. I already gave him his grade. It didn't matter how many SWAC championships Dion Sanders won at Jackson State. Jackson State already gave Dion the F. And this is why G Dion rolled out. Jackson State failed him. But Colorado was like, you know what? We'll take you. Matter of fact, whatever money you want and all the royalties and whatever products that you sell, all your hoodies and T-shirts with the prime, we'll give you extra money. Matter of fact, we'll go to, we'll go to we, we'll, the, hell, the, the, the Denver Broncos done, done jumped in there. Hell, I probably the Denver Nuggets done jumped in there. It was like, you know what, Dion, whatever you need, buddy, we got you. You, you see how that works, gentlemen? I know Deion Sanders was months ago, but gentlemen, I'm trying to tell you how things work. When somebody gives you the F on your evaluation, you don't stick around. You leave. I don't care how, what type of gaslighting, oh, this, and oh, my God, and blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. You gave me the F. You gave me the double L's. You said I'm a loser. You're not gonna pay me what I want. You're not. Gonna, I'm not gonna get the cooperation that I want from you group of people or you group of women. I'm gonna take my talents elsewhere. That's how life works, gentlemen. You don't sit there and try to and try to get a higher grade on your evaluation. Deion Sanders is at. It was at the top of the top in football. I already talked about this months ago, gentlemen. I talked about this already. But I had to bring that back up, gentlemen. Look how they treated that man. And you you think you and you you just you just a regular blue collar guy. You think you about to get better treatment than than you than your uh, Mr. Superstar Mr. Superstar himself, Deion Sanders? No. He got the L. You got the L. This man over here got the L. This cat over here got the L. This guy over there got the L. All you gentlemen got the L. It doesn't matter what you do. These women desire somebody else. You don't fit the bill, so you're automatically going to get the L and the F. You're going to get the failure grade in these women's eyes. It is what it is. It is what it is, gentlemen. It's life. But don't make the mistake that that these men before you made, cause your daddy didn't quite learn, your great your grandfather didn't quite learn, your great grandfather didn't quite learn. But like I said, you millennials are changing the game up. This is why everybody's upset at the at the millennials right now. Once again, this 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 bus driver conversation should have happened like 50, 60 years ago, but it's happening in twenty twenty three when it should have happened back in sixty three. That bus driver, this bus driver conversation should have happened 60 years ago. I'm pretty sure that was being said 60 years ago. 
milkman. Hell, they had the milkman out there. Come on, tell me how many factory jobs. I mean, tell me I can I can go on and on the things that we've contributed to this American history. But to these women, you gentlemen get a big L. Yeah, you still get an F on your, your excuse me, on your evaluation. As many things as as we come on, gentlemen. I mean, I can. I'm not gonna do it. The thing, and it, that's one thing I, I I don't like about us either, gentlemen. We have to say the things that we've accomplished to get this female to realize your greatness. I don't say it again, gentlemen. You got to say you. I, I used to do it all the time. I, Oh, I, uh, the military and Iraq and blah, 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 and this award and that award. This woman, this female don't like me. So it doesn't matter what, what I've done. I could have saved 20 children from a burning building back in Iraq. It doesn't matter to Keisha. Keisha don't care. And since Keisha don't care, I shouldn't care about Keisha. Keep it moving. Is this that simple, gentlemen? It's just that simple. We make life complicated. We're trying to prove something that we don't have to prove. Prove to who, gentlemen? I told you, I told you, gentlemen, be the greatest version of yourself. That's all you need to prove. Prove it to yourself. Don't prove it to, to Keisha, no. Don't prove it to her. Who cares? Don't prove it to no Ebony Williams. Who cares? Don't prove it to your, your Yana Van Zant. Who cares? But that's one thing about the community. See, the community, it's funny how the community will try to throw you under the bridge. See, well, let me say it like this. People are going to make fun of who they admire. That's that's my philosophy. People are always going to make fun of a person who they admire. This is why, you know, some of us was getting picked on in school because you were you were secretly being admired. You were being hated on but you were being admired at the same time. This is why you kept getting picked on. This is why you kept getting talked about. See, I told you, gentlemen, these middle, you middle-class brothers, including myself, I admire. But this is why we're getting picked on all the time. We're getting picked on because you admire us, but you don't want to say it. See, your, your, your form of uh, showing your so-called appreciation or, or, or your admiration is a form of scolding. Uh, that's how these women show their appreciation in the community. Excuse me. So you being scolded <clears throat> demonstrates how much these women in the community admire you. See, they say one thing, but they really mean something else. Uh-oh. Told you, gentlemen, don't believe nothing that these women say. They're trying to throw that negative energy out there, gentlemen. But at the same time, just like a child, you 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 admire us. You do. See, nobody, see, one of my sayings go like this, gentlemen. Nobody talks about a nobody. I'm going to say that again, gentlemen. Nobody talks about a nobody. If people are talking about you, gentlemen, then you're a somebody. You're a somebody. You are a somebody. Because shouldn't it, 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 listen, celebrities should not be talking about uh, middle class guys if we're just beneath you. It seems like we're, it seems like we're, we're above the celebrity. It seems like you gentlemen in the middle class has risen past. Matter of fact, you gentlemen, I told you gentlemen last video, you gentlemen have risen past, have risen, yeah, past, past them. You've risen past these celebrities, gentlemen. This is why the celebrities, see, this is why Steve Harvey, all you young guys, see, see, gentlemen, this Steve knows that you gentlemen have passed him. 
And believe me, that money, listen, that money, all that money that Steve got, listen, some of that, your time is coming. Believe me, all that, all that, all that money and whatever fame, some of your time is coming. Believe me, you keep working hard and you keep uh, producing and the things that you do, gentlemen, believe me, you're going to get elevated. That's what, that's how it happened. You're going to get elevated. You're going to be, you're going to be up there with them or probably past them. Talking to rubbing, rubbing elbows with this person and that person. Tell me your time is coming. You keep working. You keep working. You keep you keep striving. You keep putting them seeds out. You keep uh making that impact. Whatever you are, gentlemen, believe me, your time is coming. Believe me, that door is gonna fling wide open for you, brothers. And all you have to do is just keep, 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 keep move, uh, keep pushing forward. But yeah, gentlemen, let's stop being hard headed. Let's stop being hard headed. If the females in the community tag have given you an F on your evaluation, hey, thank you. Appreciate you. I don't, but matter of fact, I don't need to shake your hand. I don't need to touch you. I don't keep it moving, gentlemen. You need to keep it moving. Stop being butt hurt. That's life, man. You win. How do you say that? You win. You win some. You lose some. Right. Everybody don't have to like me. I don't care if everybody likes me. I don't care. But at the end of the day, I know my worth. And if one if one group of women has given me the F, somebody's going to give me an A plus plus. And believe me, there's women around you right now willing to give you an A plus plus, but you keep focusing on Keisha, who's giving you the F. So, gentlemen, that that's all the, all this. Whilst all this other stuff that's that's happening, gentlemen, that's happening to you, gentlemen, that's your fault. That's your fault. Understand your worth, gentlemen. Understand the impact. If you don't step into that job, if you don't do that job tomorrow, gentlemen, that's gonna make a huge impact on whoever, whoever and whatever that you're uh, that you're dealing with. It's gonna make a huge impact. Once again, I don't care if you scrub in the toilets, gentlemen. That's a huge come on, gentlemen. These people are high and mighty and this, that, and then looking down on the janitor. Okay. Well, let, let all them toilets be stocked up with all types of stuff in that toilet. And let's see how impactful you're gonna be at your job. Let's see how impactful. Let's let's see how uh dusty Roger is. When, when that toilet's full of all types of stuff and it's overflowing. Oh. Let's see how dusty Roger is then. Hey, uh, where, where's the janitor? Oh, uh, well, he quit. Who's going to clean it up? Uh, nobody. Matter of fact, the janitor's closet is right, is right outside. Why don't you go grab that plunger and you go plunge it? Why don't you go mop the floor? Since that, since that, since that toilet overflow, why don't you go mop the floor? And put put out the wet sign on the floor. Uh, since Roger was, uh, since that janitor, excuse me, that janitor's job was mediocre. Why don't you go out there and do it, white collar lady? Oh, I just go to another bathroom. No, well, actually, all the bathrooms are pretty jacked up. Matter of fact, there's matter of fact, uh, there are. Uh, uh, there's no toilet paper. Yeah, gentlemen, come on, man. Come on, man. But gentlemen, that's it, man. That's it. That's the end of our show, man. I appreciate everybody, man. You guys, stay up, like, share, and subscribe, man. You guys get at me. I appreciate everybody. Peace.